Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Ice Day and Gamers, and welcome. So you guys really like to build, and more importantly, you like to know a few tips and tricks on how to make your builds look even better. And you're always asking me how I add definition to my builds, basically making different parts stand out from each other. So today I've just built myself a little bit of a test ship to kind of show you how I make different areas stand out from the others. So basically this is a ship within a ship, just showing off all the possible ways of creating depth within your build. So first off, and the most simple way of doing this is color contrast. And you can do this with just combining two very sort of subtle shades of color. So on the outside here, We've got ourselves a grey. On the inside, we've got ourselves a lighter, well not lighter, a redder sort of grey. So if I pull back from the distance, you can see that small colour change creates that contrast and creates that A sort of shape, just giving it even more detail. Now, another great way that you can start creating some definition is physically as well. And by means of physically, I'll, I'll show you a little design in a second, but you can see what I've actually got going on here is I've got this physical wall that's casting a shadow into this area. And I designed this little bit down here to show you how you can do that a little better. So we've actually got this star sort of pattern. And if we pull away further, you can see how it's actually created that sort of star with into the design. And it looks like it just gives it more perspective. So as we move around, it creates that sort of angle as the light sort of passes into one area and reflects off another. Just two simple ways of doing it. You can also, of course, do this on a flat sort of angle. So towards the rear of this ship where I'm adding these thrusters on at the moment, I've just got sort of random test fit in. What I've done is recessed an area and then sort of extruded an area as well. So in this part here, I've recessed this part. So this is going to create more sort of depth into design. So if I actually retract away, you can see below the thrusters is actually recessed in. And then on top of that, we have got the extruded part. And the extruded part, the most important thing is working out how your shadow is going to be cast. So you can see it's casted a shadow in that area, creating that extra level of detail. So just a few extra tips here on how you can create that contrast. Now, for example, what you could also do is let's just build a new little area in the ship here. So I want there to be some sort of detailing in this area. So I'm just going to cut into the ship itself. You can see we've got a bit of an interior exposed, but that's not going to really matter too much. We'll add the light armor block to our hood, and we're just going to create ourselves a very simple shape. So we'll need to add in some sort of blocks to fill that hole up in the background. And then we can add ourselves a few more corner pieces like this. So let's get back in there, rotate that around, add them in. And we've just created ourselves a little hole that's adding some more depth. Now, what you've noticed here is I've actually colored it the same color as the central part. So it'll stand out and look really odd from a distance. It doesn't, it doesn't look right, but the shadow in the square in the area looks really good. So let's match this to the rest of this design here. Mark that up there. And then we'll retract away. So you can see the detailing in that square it's left us from this distance. Now we can go one step further. We can start kind of isolating areas by using the color contrast once again. So for instance, if I grab this color once more and I just say for instance, generally spray paint this area. Let's just generally spray paint that. Spray paint that and we'll grab the gray and we'll go over this area. So we're actually just gonna create this ring. So this ring will now kind of stand out from both sides of the ship. We've accidentally painted inside there. We'll quickly spray over that. So the gray ring here in the center, I think we've got one more block we need to color. There we go, color that in over there. So that gray wing will now actually start to contrast out from this area that you can see that we've colored in here as well. Now what you could also do is contrast it in like sort of camouflage terms, but it, you've got to be very subtle with it. You've got to play this smart. So say for instance, we've got these two sort of color changes. And if we add a little bit of detail in here, we start working our way up and try not to create too many sharp lines. We can actually add from a distance a sort of different shade or sort of like a camouflage pattern. But at the same time, it's kind of mixing up them lines of depth and kind of tricking the eye as we actually look around. So you can see how it flexes in that line where we actually put them two different sort of contrasting colors creates a just a different sort of shape. You can really take advantage of this. But anyway, I'll show you some other examples of this. So for instance, if we come over here, I've colored these two ring loops that I was messing around turn it into some sort of engine bay in this very red color. And look how this color sucks a lot of the detailing out of the design itself. The lighter colors sort of kind of lead themselves to adding a lot more detail. in. so say for instance, if I go with completely black now on this design, let me see if I can select that and go completely black. 
Um, select that. No, come on, go black for me. Or maybe it is already that red color. Let's go try that. Yeah, there we go. So we've got ourselves a black, and we've lost a lot of detailing with that black itself because the shadow is not showing up. So, for instance, if we go with a lighter color, so if we had to switch to a blue, but we actually really blow this blue out to a sort of dingy merchant blue, you can see how it's just blown it out again. So the light and the dark colors opposite ends of the spectrum are causing problems. But if we capitalize on this, we take the rim of that, and then we go ourselves with a little bit of a gray like this and we start contrasting the two areas together and we're going to make that rib look a lot stronger in detailing. So let's actually paint this area up here itself. And now we can zoom out. You can see how that top area is starting just to give you, it just lends itself. That simple bit of coloring is giving you so much more detail in the design. And I see a lot of this loss when people build a beautiful design ship, but then they just spray paint it all of one color. And if we just go down here, we can continue working into the design itself. Just spray paint up that. Spray paint up into that area there. We've created ourselves just some basic detailing with them two colors contrasting each other. And the change from that between the red one is it's just amazing. Now, let's come down here a little bit further. This is a bit more of an example of what you can do on a larger scale ship. Well, what I've been doing here is I've been taking massive chunks out of the area itself. So I've created this massive recess and this massive recess kind of lends itself to distant detail. So as I look away from this sort of large craft, you can see the smaller shadows are cast and it kind of sucks your eyes into the design, giving it that much more depth and making a much more beautiful looking ship. Now, this little simple tactic that I've done here, I'll show you this. You can see how I've just changed two blocks instead of them going flat to going sloped. And that slope little effect adds that little bit of shadow that creates even more detail. It's such a simple tactic this to add the detail in NC Design, but I just see so many players fail in that category. And once again, you can see that that was the original ship over there, but then extended out using the copy and paste tool, converted into a much larger ship. Very simple, very effective. And I really want you to take this and have a go with it in your designs. Contrast them colors, add the sort of depth areas. So you can see we've got this other depth area of line where we've got the simple block retracted in by half a block. And just look how much shape and sort of structure that gives to each one of them individual lines. Anyway, try this out for yourself. I would love to see your results on the Steam Workshop. Drop some links in the comments below and I will see you next time.